talk about electronics without talking about my Mac. Let's see. Alright, this is my Mac. Um, she's beautiful. Helps me out so much. I love my Mac. Uh, if you have a laptop, if you have a laptop, then that's great. Uh, that saves that saves you a lot. You know what I mean? Um, bring your DVDs. You know, you can play. You know, whatever you want to play. Uh, you can sign up for internet. Internet is 140. Let's say at the TA. I signed up for the TA internet, and it was like uh, man, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, um, the TA was 149 dollars for the year. Uh, so now wherever I park, I can park at a TA or I can park at a, at a Petro and um, have internet because I paid the 140, the 139, 140 a year and now I can have internet. Unfortunately, this is where they get you is um, they're not all the same. So it's not, you know, it's not one internet will pay for them all. It's, you know, Loves has their own, Pilots have their own, TAs have their own. I'm pretty sure Uncle Joe's truck stop has their own. So the bottom line is, if you stick with, if you buy, if you purchase an internet package, try to do your best to, you know, get your trips to be around those TAs or whatever you you chose to buy. Uh, okay, cool. Um, the computer that that's a different story. You know, if you uh, you know, if you have one, you have one. If you don't, you know, if you want you need help, I'll let your boy. I, I'll help you. I'll try to give you, you know, pointers. Uh, okay, next. This is pretty cool. This is a. Uh, let me see. Slav. Salgani. Here, you you pronounce it Salviana or something like that, right? This is this is pretty cool. This is actually a portable uh, portable DVD player. Um, what's the reason why the reason why I bought it? Uh, and I think I bought it for on the internet for about eighty bucks. Uh, one, it goes with two. It goes with two uh, screens. Um, the other one's tucked away. And basically, if you're in teams, that's what I meant. I got this one. I got this idea from a mentor because when we would uh, be at loading and unloadings. You know, they keep us there for hours. So, you know, what we do is, you know, put up a UFC fight or whatever and just chill and start watching. And, you know, it was, it was a good way to kill time and just, you know, he, he has his screen, I have my screen. We're not creaking our necks trying to look at it, you know, one with one direction. You know, and it, you know, it has uh, earphone pieces so you can control the volume as to what you want to hear. And the reason why I bought this and the whole purpose, the whole purpose, I mean, I remember taking back one because I thought, I thought I had the right one, is this piece. This one actually goes with um, a USB and a SD card. Um, uh, reader, which means that I can play my movies from actual files as opposed to actually having to burn DVDs. So if you want that, that's pretty cool. I'll definitely be putting up the USB on this one or the uh, the UPC on that one because it was a tough puppy to find. But when you find it, it's, it's, I think it's worth it. Okay, where were we? Um. Okay. Uh, let's see. I own another electronic. Um, this piece right here. This is a uh, my water cooker. Uh, good and bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real on this one. The, the water cooker is kind of cool because um, obviously what can you do with hot water? A lot of things. Uh, cup of noodle, top ramen, coffee, hot chocolate, uh, what else? Um, I don't quite know, I think that's all I've ever made. <laughs> but you know, you can make some things with hot water. Bad part, this puppy is 12 volt which means um, unfortunately to get it to a boil it takes about an hour. So ah, it kind of stinks, I thought it'd be you know, mm, you know, boil, boil up, you know, 20 minutes, you know? But um, what I do is this, I, when I know I want something or I know I'm going to be stopping soon, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put the water in, I put, I'll put. i go ahead and push it to go and then I'll just I'll start driving. After I know it's been about an hour, I know it should be boiling and from there I can kick into a rest stop and I can eat or I can you know pour my coffee or whatever I want to do. So um, that sounds pretty good. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. I, I, let me know if you want to know about snacks. I, I, I have theories and junk but you know. Uh, it all depends on your taste. Okay, uh, this isn't electronic, but this is kind of cool. This thing right here is a uh, uh, is an air compressed, you know, blower. Pretty cool. Uh, and um, here's what it does: it, it connects it connects to the to the bottom of your seat uh, because your seat has airbags, and that thing is ran off of your airbags. And basically, you know, you can use it, and then what you use it for is to blow all this crap out outside the door. Because you know, and I was thinking about this. It's a truck, which is cool, but you know, a truck trucks are not to, to have this divider. Like, check this out. This is the divider. That's the divider. So on this side, truck. On this side, living. Truck, living. Truck. So uh, to commingle the two is a little bit tough. So you're gonna notice. Um, that you need to keep it clean. Keep the truck clean. 
So I blow all the crap out, you know, if I ever get in a dirty spot, I blow it out and you know, let it go outside. And then uh, definitely your friends, your friends, th these are your friends. These, these right here, okay? I don't know what color, what color, you know, vanilla. I like vanilla, but that, that, that right there is your friend. Me, I even have one hanging over where I sleep. So sleep, I got that dangling, okay? So why? Because, it, man, it stinks. Like sometimes it stinks in the truck. You know, and I'm a, I'm a pretty clean dude, so at the end of the day, it's like, you know, anything else. <sighs> okay, uh, electronic. Um, this thing right here is, this right here is a lifesaver. I'm going to be helping a lot of y'all right here. This thing will save your life, okay, because you're in Arizona, you, if you're in uh, Illinois, you, you, man, you in uh, Texas where it's hot and humid, nasty, right? This is the lifesaver. My fan. Look at that. Oh, man. My fan. And what's kind of cool is this fan actually went with, uh, well, no, I didn't go with it. But I actually got this other piece right here. It gives me a two for one. So I can get two ports out of one. Um, so I can continue to charge my stuff and, and, and use the fan. But the fan is, man, I, I, I can tell you for a long time how good the fan is. I put the AC on, you know, I let it go. Uh, Swift doesn't want you to idle too much. No, I don't think any real company wants you to idle too much. And uh, I try not to. And how I do that is I'll, I'll go ahead and let it idle, let it let it cook up really good, let it get nice and cool, and then I'll hit the fan and let the fan push everything around, and, and I'll let the fan just kind of run it until it gets hot again. So uh, it, it does pretty well. It keeps me um, pretty cool. And, um, you know, in the beginning I was buzzed out, you know, with the noise. I was like, ah, I don't like it. But after a while I was like, hot, noise, hot, noise, hot. I'd rather have cool and noise. That's fine on me. So, uh, okay, electronics, I think... Uh, I think I might have done it. That, that might have been it. Um, let's see. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about clothes, okay? Clothes. Clothes is a big question for me. I want to know what do I got to bring, clothes-wise. Um, and I I am a I man. If anybody ever even knew me, I don't wear shorts. I got like these, you know, white boy legs and you know, skinny and junk, you know, or whatever. But bottom line is, I don't wear shorts. But look at me, I'm wearing shorts. That, that, that's crazy. All right, you get enough. That's enough. That's it. Uh, it's hot. <laughs> if I already said it like 100 times. So you want to bring, you know, clothes that'll keep you uh, cool in, in, in the hot, and then you want to bring clothes that'll keep you warm in the cold. So you know, um, dress accordingly, dress appropriately. As far as all that's concerned, I, I understood according to orientation that Swift doesn't want you in like. Uh, and like gym shorts, like, like you know, workout shorts with the you know the black stri the black pants with white stripes. You know what I mean, like that kind of stuff. Although I see people like that, but um, for for you know for the most part, I, I have jeans, I have these shorts, these cargo shorts. I, I brought plenty of socks. You got to bring plenty of your you know underoos. And um, uh, I got I, I like white shirts, you know. So I mean, I brought a lot of white shirts, these real thin shirts, and you can get those like at Walmart and whatever. Um, and I brought those, so you, you know, bring those, bring those change of clothes. But uh, in all honesty, I'm gonna be real, man. You know, it, you don't really change every day, so I mean, don't plan to change for a month. I mean, what you wear, I mean, not unless you get down on the ground and you get dirty, rolling some mud or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, you're probably gonna be wearing the same thing for a while until you get to a destination where you get to shower and change, and you probably go, okay, I'm okay, you know, or you just, you know, you don't. So, uh, speaking of which. Um, shower bag, big must, okay? You'll want to bring shower bag. Uh, I just dropped something. Oh, well, I'll get it later. I think that was my daughter. Um, shower bag, and then when you don't have an opportunity to shower, you want to get wipes, okay? Wipes are good. You just wipe your face, wipe your neck, wipe whatever, and just, you know, uh, make sure you're good to go. Uh, another thing I, I understood that were really big was um, you want to bring some sandals because showers can be sometimes nasty, and I don't think I need to give any more details. So, um, for the most part, what you want to bring in a shower bag, right? Not your whole shower. You just want to bring, you know, some, some items. So, this is what I brought. And so far, um, a lot, you know, a lot of it's worked. A lot of it, you know, some of it I haven't really used. But, um, for the most part, maybe look at my shower bag. I have, uh, definitely got some Q-tips. You need those. I got my shampoo. Let me show you guys. I got my, uh, my shampoo. No, this, this is actually my, my body wash. I got some head and shoulder shampoo. I got my cologne. I got more shampoo. I got a first aid kit I never, I never used. Got my Q-tips. Um, I got some like sanitation stuff right here. I got my my toothpaste and toothbrush. Um, somewhere on the ground, I dropped my deodorant. And then on here, uh, I have uh, 
or I had other stuff like um, let me see it's right here. Uh, like this, I mean, I, I thought I was gonna need it, but I don't. That's a lint remover, um, and then some Kleenex. You're gonna need Kleenex every now and then. And then this thing is a lifesaver, like 99 cents, but that thing is awesome. Because otherwise, I mean, you gotta get your little ShamWow, whatever, or your towel, and you gotta make lather. And at the end of the day, I mean, that thing just saves saves you a lot. Uh, okay, let me see. That was shower bag. Um, I kept my bed pretty simple. I have. I have my, my sleeping bag. My sleeping bag is actually, I got my sleeping bag, I got my pillow, I got a jacket, and my dad made me this, which actually, I mean, it looks kind of funny, but this thing is awesome. <laughs> it's just, you know, it, it helps me to elevate my head if I want to watch TV or something, so really cool. All right, but um, sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, actually, that one's pretty cool. That thing is actually rigged for a 20 degree weather, so um, if it gets really cold, I, I'm, I'm okay in it. And uh, obviously, if it's hot, then I just you know I don't um, don't really use it. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm trying to think really quick here. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Some some extracurricular stuff. This thing. Okay. Uh, I saw it at the store, man. And I bought it right away. I <laughs> was because if you know it like I know, man, this, this thing is um it's worth its weight. So check it out. This is what it does. So this goes here. On the, on, the, on the door and then when I'm driving see see how that rests it rests your arm and I can, I can hold on the steering wheel otherwise if I didn't have it I'd be right here and that is too low or the window goes down but not all the way so that means this my arm would have to be on here in order to drive and the problem with that is after a while you know it just it just it just starts to irritate and it's not comfortable so that's just kind of neat about it is um that goes there and I can put my arm on there and I can drive and, and it's about making your drive comfortable. Uh, some trucks will go with the, the second armrest, uh, the Cascadia did, um, but this one, the Volvo, uh, doesn't, so um, any little bit helps. Uh, let me see. Uh, I was able to pretty much, oh, um, yeah, well, I mean, just snacks and stuff like that, but we can get in that. That can be another video a little, a little bit later. So, um, that is a brief tour at this current moment. I'm sorry if I forgot anything. I just, uh, I really try to cram it in because I want to do it in one video and I know a video is like 10 minutes. So uh, I'm hoping you picked up something from it. I'm hoping you learn from it. Make sure you get the books. The books are the biggest thing. Uh, keep a straight book or the, or the, uh, the, the driver's log, you know, get that. Um, get the, the truck stop, rest stop book. Um, get yourself some music. Get yourself something that can play the music on. Uh, get yourself some cameras if you want to get it. Um, Let's see, uh, but those are just some of the cool, the cool things that I have that uh, that ended up working out for me, and um, and I liked it and I wanted to share it. So uh, I'm hoping that helped you guys and, and what to bring. If you have any questions, holler at me. I'll, I'll tell you. I sharp, I sharpen it up a little bit more and give you more specific answers. But uh, you know, you don't got to pack for the world. Just um, I mean, I might even just go home and empty out some of the clothes I got because I'm never going to use them for now. But I mean, for the most part, uh, yeah, that that was that was it. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to do one more video and uh, uh, pretty soon we'll wrap to this in regards to answering questions. And uh, and uh, it's really been cool to see some of you guys support and, and asking me questions. And, and actually, you know, I work hard to get you guys answers. So, all right. Uh, thanks a lot. Peace out.